Have a seat. I'll bring him right out. Hey! Watch where you're going, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you know how expensive this suit is? Much more than you can afford. You're probably right. I'm really sorry, sir. Some people. Anyway, um, let me get um, three slices of cheese. We have a five for five dollar deal if you want to add two more. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Great, have a seat. I'll bring them right out. What the heck? Okay, five slices of cheese. Great pizza, right? This is unbelievable. Really? You're gonna take the last slice of pizza? No. Oh. Sounds like you're hungry. There you go. That is disgusting. What is wrong with you? You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should go out and get a job instead of eating other people's food. Here's your pizza, sir. No, no, no. No, you already dropped mine off. Oh, that was his pizza. He ordered the same thing. Oh my God, that was your pizza. Yes, it was. I'm so sorry. That whole time I, I thought you were eating my, my pizza. And, and then you, you split that last slice in half. But why? Well, I may not have much, but I'm always happy to share. I shouldn't have been so quick to assume. Please, please, have some of mine. I'm more than happy to share. <laughs> oh, behind you! Ah, <laughs> they got me, they got uh, me! Come res me, come res me! Raiden, what is this? Your report card says you've got a C in math. Wait, what is he doing here? Oh, uh, we're just playing video games. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Baker. Brayden, I need to speak with you alone. Now. What are you thinking, bringing him over here? Didn't I tell you not to hang out with kids like that? They're nothing but trouble. What do you mean? Martin's my friend. I don't care. He is a bad influence on you. Look at how low your grades have gotten since you started hanging out with him. That's not his fault. Martin's one of the smartest students in our school. You know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. <laughs> yeah, right. He probably doesn't even go to school. You know how his people are. After today, I don't want you hanging out with him anymore. Understand? <laughs> we almost won. That was insane. <laughs> hey, Mom, do you think I can get that new laptop for my birthday? It'll really help me with school. We'll see. And that was good. Oh, here. You can have some more if you want. Thanks.
You're pretty hungry, huh? Oh, yeah, I, I, I am. So, can I get some milk? Oh yeah, here, help yourself. Thanks. Did you just finish the milk? I was going to drink that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, shoot, I, I could pour it back if you want. No, it's too late. Don't your parents feed you or something? Mom, it's fine. I told him he could have more. I don't break my back at work. All day long just to feed some kid whose parents probably don't work and can't afford to feed him themselves. Mom! I'm really sorry about that. I, I should go. I'll text my dad to pick me up. Hey man, mind if I use the restroom real quick? Yeah. You can use the one in my bedroom upstairs. All right, appreciate it. Caught ya, red-handed. Oh, it's not what it looks like. Oh, you're trying to steal from us, aren't you? No, I... I would never, I would Get out of my house right now. But, but... Now! Don't ever come back here again! My son doesn't need friends like you! Mom, what happened? Oh, I caught your little friend trying to steal from us. What? He would never do that. <laughs> Wait! Wait, Martin. Wait. Tell him the truth, Martin. You want to know the truth? I'll tell you the truth. You see? You say that I'm a bad influence. And that kids like me probably don't even go to school. But the truth is... I go to school every day. And I get straight A's. I even try and get Brayden to study with me. And you say that my parents probably don't feed me because they're poor and don't work. But the truth is, my dad is the vice president of one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Oh my gosh. Your dad drives a Tesla? And you say that I was in Braden's room to steal. But the truth is... I was only in Braden's room to surprise him. With this. You, you bought me a new laptop? Wow! And it's the new one I've been wanting. Thank you so much, man. You're the best friend ever. No problem. I know you needed it for school, so I asked my dad to help me get it. So you see, I'm not the bad guy you think I am. I am so sorry for how I treated you. I feel terrible. Brayden was right. I never should have judged you before I got to know you. I had it all wrong. Can you please forgive me? It's, it's okay. Honestly, I get this all the time. I'm pretty used to it. You are a great influence on Brayden. And you are welcome over anytime. Thanks. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow at school, Brayden. See you, Martin. Thanks again. Hey, you! Excuse me, stop right there! What are you doing with two bikes? Why? 
Because it looks like you just stole one. I mean, why else would you have two bikes? If you really need to know, some guy just stole it from a kid, and I'm getting it back for him. Oh, yeah, right. I know a criminal when I see one. What? You know, you really shouldn't judge someone without getting to know them first. Oh, my son and I just moved into this neighborhood, and we don't need criminals like you ruining it. Hello? Yeah, my name is Karen. I'd like to report a suspicious man who has stolen a bike. Come quick, he's getting away. I think he might have a weapon. That is the man that stole the bike. Sir, put your hands in the air where I can see them. Officer. This is a big misunderstanding. I was just trying to get the bike and return it to someone. Do you have any paperwork? A registration for it? No, because like I said, this isn't mine. Don't believe a word he says. How do I know you didn't steal it? Because you got the wrong guy. You see, I was riding down the street when I saw a man trying to steal a bike from some kid. I tried to stop him but he took off with the bike. So I chased after him. And after a long chase, I was able to stop him and get the kid's bike back. So you see, I didn't steal this bike. I was simply trying to return him to the kid who it belongs to. All lies. You can tell he isn't telling the truth just by looking at him. Look, I'm sorry, but if you have no way of proving your story to me, I have to take you in. Officer, oh, come on, man. That's Get off crazy. the bike. Do you have any weapons on you? Or drugs? No. Haven't done drugs ever in my life. Okay, this is happening to me, man. Well, believe it. And don't ever come back to this neighborhood again. Wait! Dylan? Hey, why are you arresting him? Son, this man is a criminal. He stole a kid's bike. No, he didn't steal anything. That's my bike. He was helping to get it back for me. What do you mean? Oh, I was on my way home when some man robbed me and stole it. Oh. Luckily, he tried to help and chased down the robber to get my bike back. This man helped you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Wow, I am so sorry about the misunderstanding. You're free to go. Uh, I am so sorry. Oh, I felt bad for how I treated you. You're right. I never should have judged you before I got to know you. It's okay. Because honestly, this stuff happens to me all the time. Just glad little man got his bike back. Thank you. And I'm grateful that we have good people like you in our neighborhood. <sighs> oh, wow, Deshaun. I still can't believe this is your house. I do pretty well for myself. Never seen a backyard so beautiful before. Used to see the water bill. Plus, I have to hire a bunch of landscapers to keep up with this place. <laughs> wow. Aw, and they even pick your lemons for you. Are you serious? Hey, Paco, you guys stealing my lemons? My name is Juan. Whatever. You guys cannot be taking these. And look at this. Your shirt is full of my lemons. You fill up all your pockets. Okay. And what is the problem? What's the problem? You really don't think there's anything wrong with what you're doing? 
I swear, this is why I never have any lemons. I just thought they were picking them for you. No. And he even got a plastic bag full of them, too. Give me those. Hey. What are you doing? If you got a problem, you talk to the owner. <sighs> he is the owner. Come on. What are you talking about? Babe, forget these guys. I just called their boss and get them both fired. Come on, let's go see the inside. I am the boss. Uh, well, then you should know not to take the owner's lemons without asking first. He is not the owner. Okay, why do they keep saying that? Babe, I don't have to explain myself to this guy. He can barely speak English. Babe, come on, let's go. You do own this house though, right? Is that seriously even a question? Why would you ask me that? Hey, Martin. Hey, Juan. How are you guys? Hey, how are you, senor? How are the girls? Ah, oh, growing too fast. You guys take care. Uh, hey, jefe. It's okay if we still take the lemons? Of course. Take as many as you want. Share them with the whole family. Okay, bye. Gracias. He is the owner. So you lied to me? Okay, so I don't own a house, I rent it. But I'll probably buy this house in the next few- Oh, hey, Deshaun, can you have your dad call me? His lease is up for renewal. Of course, I'll let him know now. Thank you so much. <laughs> you mean your dad rents this house? I can explain. Save it. I've already lied enough. Babe, wait. You don't want to see the inside? <laughs> <laughs> well, your party is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, there's only six more hours until my friends arrive. Would you like to come to my birthday party? Of course. Where are you, Jimmy? I'm so excited. I bet they'll be here soon. Is it all right if I came? I can't believe no one came. May.